Guys, so if you've noticed, I am whispering because of um, my room just echoes and I don't think the whole world needs to hear, like, or my household needs to hear what I'm chatting about because they already knew I was preparing myself for this video. Um, <laughs> so I'm talking quite quietly, I hope you can still hear me. I'm sorry if you can't. <laughs> Basically, if you haven't noticed, I have lightened my hair. Um, previously it was kind of like a reddy brownie sort of like a reddy brownie it was just like fading into a red colour and it was just horrible and then my roots were coming through and I was like, no just no it wasn't attractive and I really wanted to go lighter I didn't really want to go darker because I wanted to go more to my natural way um, hence all the natural curls and the fact that I don't use heat anymore and I don't really dye my hair anymore and all whatever um so yesterday uh, was it yesterday the day before yesterday, 27th, I finished my third month of my four week no heat stuff. So I've gone like three months without any heat or my hair straighteners, blow dryers, whatever. Um, straightened it just to see how long it was. Don't like my hair straight anymore. So um, next day I washed it out. Just let it, you know, whatever. Do its thing. So um, I have highlighted my hair. Yeah, I really wanted to... Um, go lighter well, as I said I didn't want to go darker and um, I think it quite drowns me out um I know I'm probably gonna want to go back brown but I'm gonna like really try and stick this out if I can for as long as I can um because my initial intentions were to get my hair to the length I want and then to go blonde like a blondie-ish colour you know what I mean like a natural blonde um and I was gonna do that when my hair was about here but um I felt that my hair was ready to take my first set of highlights and um, it's the strongest it's ever been in like years you know it, it can really like withstand quite a lot but I was going to do it the right way and I wasn't going to hurt it and I was going to make well it was going to hurt it but it's not going to be as damaging as it usually I would like chuck bleach on leave it chuck bleach on leave it you know I'm not doing that you know I've come this far and I'm not gonna fuck it up basically <laughs> so I'll show you what I did. I don't really want to go on too much. I want to do a bit, a bit more about like the aftercare, like after you washed it out and stuff. Um, anybody in the UK or anybody that knows this product, it is the Jerome Russell Be Blonde Highlighting Kit. They have changed the box again. Um, so it looks like this now. My hair's not far off that colour, to be fair, with the highlights. Yeah, buddy. Not as long, though. Gorgeous lady. She's so pretty. Um, yeah, you know, it's just this, you know, pretty standard. That's what you get in it. I don't have anything in it now, other than a glove, maybe? But yeah, it's all gone. Uh, it looks like this, it's basically just a bleach. Um, you get a sachet of bleach, you get 40%, um, is it 40 vol? 40%? Oh, um, of peroxide cream to mix in with the one sachet, you know, you just do the ratio of it like that. Um, which is good because it sometimes confuses people, like one teaspoon of this and one tablespoon of that and then a blob of this and a blob, fuck that, you know, it's just like one sachet to a bottle very simple um, you get a highlighting cap so I pull all my fringe forward to make sure I got like a even each side which I love the little blonde bits that I've got like here and here and here and at the back but you can't really cause my head's at the back so but yeah you can really see it's really lightened and um, pull my hair forward put the hat on plucked it just all over um, I did quite thin strands because I didn't want chunky bits of like possibly gonna be orange and um, I didn't strip my hair because of um, you know, all of, a lot of my colour that I previously had, had washed out, and I didn't really want to put my hair through any unnecessary chemicals, so, um, if you feel that your hair is, like, light enough to, like, highlight, um, maybe you can avoid the, um, stripping stage, also it saves you about a tenner, um, you know, it didn't really damage my hair at all, highlighting it, um, because of what I did afterwards, the aftercare was more... And like during so basically it says that um for a, like i would say i was like a medium brown i was like this ready sort of brownie color sorry about my nails already chipped um it says to leave it on to 25 to 90 minutes and i should uh, I, most people say you should never leave hair bleach on for any longer than 60 um i could not bring myself to leave it on for 60 let alone 90 um so after i plucked it all through i just mixed up the bleach make sure the bleach hasn't got any lumps in it because it won't set properly um so what i did was i put the bleach on my strands and i left it on for half an hour 
um, I, I didn't look at it because I knew, like, I knew it was going to go orange, you know, I, I wasn't really bothered, um, I wasn't really bothered if it is going to go coppery, you know, I can deal with it, you know, I was going to do this slowly and I was going to make sure that I do it properly, you know, I'm not going to put my hair through any unnecessary strain just because I want to have highlighted hair, you know, it's not going to happen, and in the end it did pay off. So um, you get a plastic like cap and you put it over your head um, on top of the bleach and then I just put like my grey hat, in. this is the pink one, but you know them bubble hats, I'll show you, you know, like them ones, um, I just put this over it to keep it warm, you should never put like heat appliances like a blow dryer or anything on Jerome Russell bleach, it says it in the instructions as well that you should never ever put heat like direct heat on it. That's why they give you like a plastic cap and I just put like this hat on just to, you know, actually that hat can stay on. Um, it, it's quite a cute colour um, just to keep my head warm, you know, to get it to take nicely. Um, after half an hour I checked it, I rinsed it out like with the cap still on and I let it, the strands naturally dry. They did go a very orangey, sort of, well not a very orangey, they sort of went like a, like a lemony orangey sort of colour, wet. And then um, I let them naturally dry, I didn't, you know, I didn't put any heat on it, I was no way going to speed up this process at all, you know, I was just going to let it do whatever it wanted to do, whenever it wanted to do it. Um, so I washed out the strands with the um, shampoo conditioning treatment it gives you, and I just let it naturally dry. Um, after I dried, I had half of my bleach left, so I put um, all over a light amount of bleach, and I left that on for an extra 10 minutes. So all in all, I had it on for my head for about 40 minutes. So, um, and even then, um, I was going to take it off and leave it at 30, but I thought, ugh, I hair in my mouth. Um, it'd be fine just to sort of do it at 40, you know, it'd be long enough. And it was. So, um, after that, I washed out the strands and all the bleach for the second time, like for the 10 minutes I left it on for, and I absolutely smothered it in conditioner with the cap still on so it had like direct contact of where the um, bleach had been. And I absolutely smothered it in my 3 Minute Miracle colour, and I left it on while I had my dinner and everything, so it was on for like a good 15 minutes, this stuff. And it had really softened it, they weren't even really that dry, but... I just wanted, I was not risking it whatsoever. And um, I gave him a little brush for a wide tooth comb just to sort of unknot anything. But I did it with the conditioner in, so nothing was pulled. After um, the conditioner was all sat, I took the cap off and I washed all of my hair together. Um, I used my Herbal Essence um, Beautiful End Split End Protection Cream. This stuff saved, like, my hair didn't even need saving because it wasn't even that bad at all. But, you know, this really softened it up. My ends were just feeling really good. Um, I used the shampoo and then I, what did I do? I used this and this, like, I used this, like, all over, washed it out, and then I used this again, like, all over my hair, and I, like, mixed the two together, and it was really, really good. Um, and I let that just sit for, like, five minutes. <coughs> so, you know, I smothered it in conditioner. Um, after all that was done, I uh, washed all the conditioner out, um, and then I just left it alone. I just let it like air dry, and then it it was really nice colour. I really liked it. Um, a little bit coppery in some places, probably where it was like a little bit darker. Um, my roots obviously weren't white because it's a cap as well, so you're not gonna have white roots. And I wanted that little bit of like regrowth look, which um, I really like. So um, I let it naturally dry, and then I put. I know where it is. I don't think I saved the box. I think I threw the box away. But I put a nice and easy um, light ash blonde on it. An ash blonde will neutralise any orangey tones that you've got in your hair and it will make everything blend in. Also, like underneath your hair, like where it's obviously going to be a bit darker, um, it really lightened up this as well. And I left that on for 10 minutes, I believe I left it on for 10 minutes. And, um, again, washed it out with this and this, and left this on for, like, I think I left this on for three minutes alongside the conditioner that the nice and easy come, the nice and easy box comes with. Um, after all that's done, um, 
I just let it naturally dry. And when it was towel dried, I put my Aussie insurance leave-in hair conditioner in. Just sprayed it all over, all over the ends. Made sure, you know, everything was covered. Um, I also used my split end um, protection cream. Just at the end, I tipped my head upside down. And I just put it all in and really lathered it up. And then I mixed that in with a little bit of my nourishing coconut milk. Um, from organics, tiny tiny amount, like half the size of 5p um, I put in and then once it had all dried and like all gone curly like this I just went over it with like a very light mist of my Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil weightless thing like that and it turned out like this so um, I'll take this off it just went like a really nice highlighted um, natural colour so um, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, please let me know what you guys think as well. Um, as you know, it means a lot to me. Um, also, aftercare, you know, you just need to really condition it. If you are thinking about having highlights or bleaching it or whatever, please, please, please look after it. Um, it is really simple, just condition, like, as you go, almost sort of thing. Um, every wash, you know, get an intensive mask. Um, if you've got a protein treatment, um, put that in because you're losing a lot of like naturalness. Um, if you are going to put heat on it, please use a heat protectant. I use a Tresemme one. don't really use heat though. Um, I, use, I put this on earlier, just to spray it over my head and up my ends because I was going in the sun. wasn't going to put it for any, any unnecessary stress. So I used this. Um, I'm going to leave it a few days just to get greasy and, you know whatever and then I'll put my Herbal Essence Intensive Mask on and yeah you really do want to get a shampoo and conditioner that's like like made for split ends or made to soften up your hair I really like this one um, my new favourite shampoo and conditioner um, and I'm not a Herbal Essence fan so this is like my new thing um, it's just a beautiful end so I mentioned before shampoo and conditioner and I've got the protection cream and the mask really good if you are going to be bleaching your hair because it will just stop it from maybe coming out as much so that is my update of my hair colour Way. if you want any videos doing of how to look after highlighted uh, bleached hair then let me know and I hope you like it and I hope to see you guys soon